है ना So away they go in this, the A final spec, and it's the third leg, and there was no Yarmouth Hesky at the front. We've got Mike Gosvig. And we just got the wrong. I do apologize, I got the thing on the count on the screen still. Silly Billy. So Gosvig. And he's leading through from Duchette and Favrell. I think Favrell just lost his space the six car of Kalina. Now, they're only fighting for the podium here because Jan Rathyski's already won the whole thing. So let's just drop back to this battle for fourth that's spinning around here, with, led by that green car, which is the number three of... Uh, it can't be number three, so I'm, I can't read numbers, it's a bit of a disaster. I think it's the five, let's have a look. It is the five of Favrel, who's in the middle of a pack of cars that are squabbling about in this spec A final. Behind him is the eight of David Berizzi, and the seven of Max Matchler. Everyone very Max Matchler along the straight there for speed. So Gosvig and uh, Duchette and everyone else, they're all kind of trolling in together. They're, they're not really getting closer or further away. It's nicely spread out as the wind has definitely picked up, which is pleasant for us. Maybe a lifesaver for our electrics. So two minutes and 15 remaining. It has been a rather processional race so far. The possibility that it may happen here in this battle for uh, third place. With Favrel in the five, leading through uh, Baruzzi in the eight. And Gosvich which is a major problem coming around the corner. So Gosvig now is the car ahead. He's just seems to run out of tyres. So we just move forward, try and move forward one car. The car that's about to go on the main straight now. That's Gosvig, who was leading comfortably. Just had a huge off-track off moment uh, going through the point of the track here. And has handed the lead to Duchette. Now, I'm not sure what that means that Duchette's going to win, get second place. Gosvig now suffering from terminal understeer on that car. He's run these for one run too many in this temperature. I'm going to hold back Fravel. This is a battle for second. So Gosbig from Frivel looking for second overall. Duchette is away with a minute to go. And behind them is the in the whiter car is David Baruzzi. They set themselves down the straight, turn round. Two second seconds to go. They come round. This is a penultimate lap. There's one more after this. Gosling seems recovered. He hasn't got anywhere near Duchette. So let's we'll wait till we get to the end to find what that affects the overall uh, podium. It will, of course, be Aaron Siski who. Oh, and then the a bit of bad luck for uh, Bertuzzi who clipped the curb coming onto the main straight. So he's dropped out of fourth. And they're going to just clip one more lap. Let's see if you want to move forward to Duchette in the lead. Let's take a leader over the line. 
And some of the lower cars have already finished. They're just going to get in this last lap, off and done in the A final stop, leg three. The question really is whether Goldsmith isn't it here about five laps ago. It's going to cost him second overall. And they now come across the line. Duchette wins it. So who has got... Let's see what's going on now. It's very exciting. Who, do you got? Who has got it? Who has got the runners-up position? Let's find out. So we go to ranking lists. We go to final. And it is Duchette who picks up the runners-up position. So it's Radzinski who is your European champion in spec. In second, it's Alexander Duchette from France. Mike Gosvig from Denmark is third. Max Malcher from Germany is fourth. Steve Ravel from France is fifth. David Bertuzzi from Italy is seventh, sorry, sixth. Seventh is Tom Kragfelski. Eighth is Blaz Olowski. Ninth is Noah Asendorf. And tenth is Mattia Kalina. 